John from Eastern Hot Rider, and today I'm with Alan Platt. How's it going, Alan? Good, good to see you, man. Good, man. good to see you, too. So we are with the, uh, uh, the Georgia Shaker 3. So, uh, uh, Alan, you said this is a replica of, of the one your dad used to buy. It is. This is a tribute replica of the original car. The original car is still around. A buddy of mine in Lawrenceville, Georgia, has it. Okay. Uh, not too far from here. And uh, it's actually for sale, the original car. Is it really? Yeah, it is. They won 150 for it. No, no He's turned down 100,000 twice. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's funny. It's sorry. a piece of history. It's a barn find, yeah, and it's got all the original stuff, you know. It's, okay, it's, I think that's yeah. the one that, when I first met your dad, it, it was Commerce Drake's Yeah, yeah he had it on display there. That's right. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I thought it, this, is, this is such a good replica of that car that I thought it was that car restored. So it's, it's pretty faithful. Right. Right. We were actually at an event at... Um, Atlanta Dragway, one month after my father passed away. He passed away in September 2015. Okay. And in October, we were at an event with the original car. An event was planned early in the year, way before he yeah. even got sick. And uh, he was like, you know, if I can make it, I'm going to that event. And he actually passed away before it. he had oh. liver cancer and died. Oh, but uh, yeah, but uh, I went on to the event as was he wanted me to. Sure. And there was a guy there. Sonny Hall is his name. He was looking at the original car. He said, I want to make a replica of this car and I'd uh, like you to drive it. And oh, really? I said, awesome, man. That'd be great, you know? Yeah. So him and his mechanic fell in on the car, measuring the altered wheel base to make it exactly like the original. Ten and a half inches move forward in the back, two inches in the front, uh, you know, axle front end. Everything the way the original car was done, yeah. they photographed and measured that day. No at kidding. the track, yeah, they went all over the original car. So, so when you so see the on. two alike next to each other, they're a lot alike. This car's got a full roll cage, the original car didn't. Okay. And so it's only safety equipment type Just of brought car. it up so you can actually run this right. car. The other one would right. be more for static show or Yeah, or it hadn't been around, around since the 70s. Okay. You know, a guy had it, I say the 70s, maybe 1970s. Okay. The guy that originally got it, um, he raced it a little bit and stuff, and it changed hands a couple times, but the whole story's in my book. Really? Yeah, I got a book called Hubert Platt, Fast Forward to the Georgia Shaker, and the whole story on that okay. is in there. Yeah. yeah, you can find that anywhere on Amazon. Right? Yeah, it's a good. Actually, I've read that book. It's a good book. Oh, okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, so check that out on Amazon. You can find that one. So, um, is this still run the 427, or is it? It is. This is a 427. You take a look at it. This thing is a big block FD motor. Um, and the Southeast Gassers Association is an established organization that I raced with. All the cars are 1967 or older, and in the class I run in, the AFX class, it's all alter fuel based alcohol injected big blocks. Okay. So this is a big 427, got the original 1966 Ford block, and um, everything else is custom, custom Blair Patrick cylinder heads, Blair Patrick racing engines, he's a FE guru. Okay. And um, that's a real 60s mechanical fuel injection by Hilburn. Awesome. So just been refurbished, you know. Had a lot of machine work under that intake to fix this custom heads. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, man. It's got 14 to 1 compression, uh, 16 Corolla pistons. Got the shaft crank, molar rods. Got, oh yeah, man. I got an 800 lift full roller bullet cam. Uh, yeah, crawler. It's all stuff that push rods. Wasn't even around when your dad was racing these cars. You probably would have rule to have this kind of stuff. And yeah, he didn't have a lot of the parts we have now, although yeah. he had the best of what they had then. Sure, you could, well, your dad had Ford backing, correct? Well, not in 65, he okay. didn't. In 64, he got a Thunderbolt for $1. Really? He got the 13th one ever made. Okay. But then he was overlooked in 65, so he built his own Falcon. Right. And then when they altered the wheel bases, he didn't get one of those, and he did that to his car. Then he went on and followed suit and thank you to the long nose Mustang, and he built one of those. Okay. And then... In fact, he came to him and had him drive one of his, I one see. of theirs. I think. Okay, so he really got the backing when he did in '66. '66, yeah. yeah. And then he had the rest of his career. Man. Okay. So did your dad run a 427 or He did. It's almost exactly like this, the way it looked and everything. Um, that's why I was showing you about the magazine, which did the article right here at this dragway. Okay. We took the pictures of the two cars together so for the first be, time ever. Be a better spot to do The cars have only been photos. together one time. It's never been at a car show, drag race, or anything. We brought them up here when the, in the off season and uh, photographed them in there. It's a 10 page article okay. in uh, Speed Culture Magazine. Yeah, nice article, so, too. Yeah, if you want to look inside of here real quick. Is there brass fenders, too? It is. This car's just got a steel roof and steel quarter panels. 
we got a fiberglass deck, deck lid, fiberglass hood, fenders, doors. Uh, and the doors still have crank up windows too. They do. It works. That's right. The uh, but yeah, even fiberglass bumpers. Yeah. The only thing that's still is the roof and quarters. Yeah, you're looking at that's a, a um, long shifter that's inline four speed. Right. The line lock in the handle there, the red button. What, what kind of training are you running? That's a G force. Okay. Mm -hmm. G force clutchless. That you, you drop the clutch for first, you just click through the gears after that. Nice. Yeah. I'm sure you're running a 90s Ford rear. I have a 9 inch Ford with a Moser third member okay. and a Moser full axle. It's a total Moser rear end. Moser makes really nice products. Yeah, I got 35 slide axles. I got 567 gear. Okay. Yeah, so. It gets it down to eight miles. I bet it does. Yeah. How much after that? Yeah, yeah. We were even thinking about going up to like a 583 this year. We'll see. Oh, really? For 24, yeah. If I get the bread, it's about two grand for that new third member. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, well, I like the Craig Grass SS. Thanks, uh, yeah. It's very correct, just like my dad's car, you know. Like I was saying, in the magazine, you see the two cars sitting together, and they're just, you know, just alike. The other one's just a little dirty and rusty. <laughs> It, it, was it a Ford Econoline front axle for the use? It was. Not on this, but on my dad's. Okay. It was out of, from under a van. He cut it uh, six inches out of the center and welded it back together. Right. That was one of the things where you could tell this was the, the, the real car. Yeah, but when they had it verified, he came and looked down there and he saw where he himself had welded the axle together. Yeah. He's like, yeah, it's my car. But also, it had all this pin striking still on the dash, just like okay. this from back in the day. Yeah. You know, the original car, he had it. The dash pin stripe, and when they found it, the barn pie, so he just looked in there, all that still like Was it still lettered up? No, it wasn't. I, you have to see uh, the pictures. It's painted now in a faux paint job like this, but okay. it had, uh, the lettering had been taken off. Okay, good. Now, who did the lettering on your car? A couple of different people. It was the original owner had it done uh, by one guy, and then I bought the car in 2018, and I've had it raced it ever since then, and I had it updated, I had this added, that uh, Jason, what his name, the guy named Jason, yeah, he's down in South Georgia, but uh, he said this, and he added this in here, and a few other details that were, we looked at the original pictures, and the, uh, the guy that painted it originally didn't have those pictures, oh, I see. so he had the basics, but he didn't have all the details, yeah, yeah. he's going to be asking that, yeah. So here's the magazine article, guys. You can see some old pictures. That's your dad there, right? That is. This is the magazine right here, Speed and Culture. It was the spring of 23. This one came out. That's okay. my car, my dad's car. Nice. Yeah, these pictures all were taken in 1965 of the original car with my dad. This is that coming dragway. And that was when it was in this magazine. It was on the cover of the magazine right there. It was November of 65, Drag Racing Magazine. Very cool. Nationwide publication. So now here at Paradise Check Dragway, this is the original and this is my car. Look at that, man. You can see how close they are. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So man. these are all of the original, and that's me. That's really cool. Yeah, man. There's the two engines, you know. Showing this, how close everything is. Well, that's a, yeah, but actually the one is a faux paint job. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's kind of whatever. But yeah, this was the original motor. It's oh, yeah. Still in the car, barn fine. Look, it's where my dad often, you know, just yeah, stay on there. Cool. He autographed it and stuff. Yeah, you It's know, neat that that original car is still around. It's yeah. really cool that you get to drive the. The replica. Yeah, and see how we painted my dash to match the original yeah, man. stuff. That's that's awesome. Still running craggers like he had. Look at I that. Check that out. Yeah, you can see a slightly darker color there on that. Well, it's because of the age. Yeah, right. It's still Guardsman Blue. It's a Ford it? 64. Okay. Yeah, it's a 1964 Guardsman Blue. Yeah. And but this is just weathered. It sat outside for many years. Really. See? Boy, they're both good-looking cars. I remember yeah. seeing this one. Like I said, that was that was the first one I saw. And uh, that was uh, probably a year before your dad passed. Much pictures of my dad. These are all yeah, our really family neat. archives. There I am. Yeah. Uh, either this this car this car's still around or a replica yeah, that car still guy. around. It's a replica. Yeah. yeah. And this bunch of family pictures Very here neat. too.
Yeah, Hoover, he ran a lot of stuff. Now, your uncle, was it your uncle that also ran? Okay. Your uncle was a Chevy guy, right? Yeah. 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 Very cool. All right. So, guys, okay. if you're looking for that magazine, if, if you can't find it on the newsstand, you can probably find it on eBay. And speaking of eBay, um, they uh, make a, a replica of this car in a uh, 124th model or 125th scale model. So you can actually build your own. And uh, for you guys that have watched... Uh, some of my slot car videos, I built one myself that, uh, not off that kit, but off another one. Um, so you can have your own miniature version of this. It, it just shop eBay and stuff, and you can find uh, uh, plastic model kits of these. That's right. And you can if put you, them together. And, if you go to eBay and put in Hubert Flat Georgia Shaker, it'll pop up. Okay. All kinds of Hubert Flat. And you have, you have the decals kits too, I right? I do. Yeah. If anybody can reach me through my Facebook page. Okay. And yeah. that's just Alan, Alan Flat? Right. Hubert Flat Georgia Shaker. We have a fan page. Okay. You can hit me on Messenger. Perfect. Yeah, Facebook Messenger to Alan Platt or Facebook Messenger to Hubert Platt, Georgia Shaker. All comes to me. Cool. And, uh, yeah, so and, it, over the, and over you can whatever. get some information and, and details and stuff and have uh, little bits and pieces of real American drag race history. Alan, thanks, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, man. Yeah. Appreciate and it. And thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it.